So I just want to show you some of the best body language hand gestures that you can use to help you become a more effective leader. Think about this one first, the triangle. Whenever I put my hands in the triangle, just like this, I'm going to appear more intelligent and knowledgeable in what I have to say. So for example, today I want to talk to you about your body language and how you can become a better leader. Today, I want to help you become a better leader and talk about your body language, right? Just by me putting my hands just like this in a triangle, I'm not changing my voice, I'm just putting my hands in a triangle. People also call this the steeple. I just make it more simple, call it the triangle. But here's the thing, what if you were on a date and your hands are in the triangle and you say, I want that lobster roll, I, I want that spaghetti. You might seem a little bit too, um, too over confident, I will say. What you can do, think about the triangle, you can open it up a little bit more. You see, when you open up your hands as a leader, you appear a little bit more friendly, you're still super confident, but you are engaging your audience at the same time. And I'm sure that, now again, even though I'm standing up, you can do this in a, in a meeting, on a phone call, every single day with people. Don't think about this as who, oh, I just have to use this, let's say if I'm speaking in public. You, I'm sure you've seen this before, people are leaning back in their chairs and they're putting their hands in a triangle. So when you talk to people, right, think about how you are talking to them because visually, people will have a different perception of you in a matter of two or three seconds, okay? So think about the triangle. You can close it or you can open it up. This one again, they call this one the basketball steeple, okay? Think about the coach. La, 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 they're saying something, but their hands are a little bit more open and they're inviting. At the same time, they're still super confident. If you want to, oh, one more thing. Have you noticed if I nod my head, you might want to nod as well? I am doing the same exact thing with my hands. So for example, I can say, today is how I'm just putting my hands up and down. Today, I wanna to talk to you about your body language and why it's so important for you to really learn about it a little bit more. So same thing. Visually, people will be a little bit more captivated because visually, you'll be moving and it's towards them. If you want to appear more friendly, all you have to do is keep your palms facing up. So I can say, for example, hey, can you go to the grocery store today and we need some apples, bananas, and a bunch of strawberries. Now, this will be very different if I said, hey, can you go to the grocery store, we need some apples, bananas, and a bunch of strawberries. Your pointing is a little bit more direct, your open palms are a little bit more friendly. So if you are having a conversation with someone, right, someone will always say, hey, can you do this X, Y, and Z for me? But even if you open up your palms, hey, what do you think about this? From, hey, what do you think about this? Again, this is more direct, your point, this is a little bit more friendly. If you want to appear more assertive, all you have to do is cut. You can cut down, you can cut up, it's like you're gonna judo chop everywhere. Hey, can you go to the grocery store? We need some apples, bananas, and a bunch of strawberries. Today, I wanna to talk to you about your body language, your eyes, your arms, and everything in between, right? Look, if I cut my arms, I am just uh, asserting the words a little bit more confident, and it will make you a little bit more assertive. Here's the most important thing. You want to look at the flow of the movements. If you don't, I'm not saying you have to use this individually. If this feels very awkward for you, don't say, hey, I need this, 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 and this every single time. I just want you to try that out. But look at it this way. If I am more friendly, my arms or my body will flow a little bit more. If I want to be more assertive, my movements are more strict. I can still use the open palm and I can say, hey, can you, look, can you go to the grocery store, we need some apples, bananas, and a bunch of strawberries. My movements are still more strict, so if you want to appear, let's say, in a power position, you can stand up more rigid, your arms can move more strictly, and you will emphasize your words and whatever you say in a more confident but assertive way. If you want to appear a little bit more relaxed, your body will start to flow a little bit more, so it's more of a conversational tone. One last thing that I want to teach you guys. You see when I put my hands in a circle like this, it feels like I have an insight I just want to tell you about right now. It doesn't matter what it is. Today, my cat woke up and she did this one thing. 
Look, you just put your hands in a circle. And this is one thing I just want to tell you about is this insight that you have. You see, people can have a perception of you just like that. 